What's up friends? How are you? Welcome to this video. Today we will present the Do GV Max, a cell phone designed for heavy use with a large battery capacity of 22,000 milliamps. This cell phone promises to provide a very long battery life, which makes it ideal for those who are looking for a device that you do not have to be charging every day in addition to its other characteristics that will surely surprise you and its great performance. In this review, we'll take a look at the features and specifications of the Do GV Max to help you determine if it's the right phone for you. We are going to start with the unboxing, a yellow box as Duji always does, but this time it is a box that is too big. We uncover. 3,000 years later. We uncover. One eternity later. Now yes, then later over here we see a giant brick, but let's put it aside. We have a manual, warranty policy, extra screen protector, 33 watt fast charging charger with USB-C output and of course the USB-C to USB-C cable and that's it. Here we now have the monstrous Duji V Max. It has the traditional design of any cell phone for rough use but more or less double or triple thickness than one for normal rough use and not to mention comparing it with normal cell phones. Here it is on one side of the powerful J2 and it's like four cell phones in one. It's too wild. Even putting it in a pants pocket is a bit of work. A normal cell Cell phone weighs between 150 and 200 grams, some for rough use 250 grams. This beast weighs more than 500 grams or half a kilo. It's crazy. The thickness is due to the 22,000 milliampere battery. But hey, let's see the design to test this Duji. On the front we find the front camera, the speaker for calls, a notification LED and a double speaker for stereo sound, with one speaker at the top and another at the bottom. The top features a clean design and uses rigid plastic to withstand bumps and drops. On the right side we find plastic in the corners, a metal frame, the volume buttons and the power button that also works as a fingerprint reader. Below we have a slot to add a strap, the USB-C port with a plastic cover and the microphone for calls. On the left side there is a metal border, a quick access button and the SIM card tray, which accepts two SIM cards. Finally, on the back we find a triple camera module with an attractive mirror finish, the flash, an infrared light for night mode, a microphone for video, a leather textured finish and a Duji brand nameplate. This is the general layout of the device. The Duji V Max battery is a true monster with a capacity of 22,000 milliamps. According to the specifications, you can expect a duration of up to 2,300 hours in standby mode, 240 hours of normal use, 109 hours of calling, 40 hours of video, 90 hours of music, and 25 hours of gaming. These are impressive numbers that prove the long battery life of the Duji V Max. However, it is important to note that the charger that comes with the cell phone is fast charging at 33W, which is a bit fair compared to the big battery. Surely it can take up to 6 hours to charge from 0 to 100%, which in the same way you can do it in one night while you sleep, in reality you won't even notice. From my own experience during the filming of the video and the tests, it was possible to consume only 15% of the battery during the entire time that I was testing the device. Even though I put music on, maximum brightness, games and other things, the consumption was very low, which shows that the battery is really durable and offers great autonomy. And another important fact, it has reversible charging, so you can use it as a power bank for other devices and having a USB-C to USB-C cable, it won't be a problem to charge another cell phone for example. The Duji V Max has a 6.58 inch screen with full HD plus resolution of 2408 by 1080 and an image frequency of up to 120 Hz, which is configurable between 60 Hz and 120 Hz or automatic. Everything is very well balanced. It feels like a screen of good quality, just like you have a high-end device. 
In addition, it features Corning Gorilla Glass 5 shock protection and comes with a built-in plastic screen protector, as well as an extra one in the box, so you don't have to worry as much about scratches, let alone a broken screen. As for the sound, the Doogee VMAX has dual stereo sound through its two front speakers, which provides stereo sound with a strong volume and quite acceptable quality. This screen and sound together provide a very good listening experience, quality and multimedia content. And as for the screen brightness, it is somewhat fair but useful. The Doogee VMAX has a 108 megapixel main rear camera capable of producing high-quality images similar to those offered by mid-range terminals and in terms of video, more or less the same result is obtained, this will not let you down do G. The 32-megapixel Sony front camera allows good quality family selfies to be taken, meeting expectations. On the other hand, the 16-megapixel camera with wide and macro focus is an interesting novelty since it combines both functions and achieves images with a wide-angle effect and macro at the same time. It's the first time I've seen it combined and I like the effect that is achieved. Now macro photographs make more sense to me. The 20-megapixel night camera allows you to take photos and videos clearly in low-light situations, giving you the feeling of having a flashlight in the dark, although obviously everything will be in the dark. This Doogee camera has it very well achieved with an excellent range. In short, the Doogee VMAX offers a solid performance in terms of cameras with versatile and good quality options. The performance of the Doogee VMAX is at the level of any mid-range, even higher than a few. It has a latest generation MediaTek Dimensity 1085G6 nanometer processor, 12 GB of RAM that can be increased to 20 GB through software. Obviously the 12 GB are the good ones, the others are through virtualization, but if you are a person who has many applications open all the time, a gem will come in handy. You won't have any problems and all this is complemented by a 256 GB memory with which you can store many games, photos, videos, music and even movies or whatever you need. For daily use and basic applications you will not have any problem, everything runs very smoothly, you can move between different applications and resume them at any time and the transition is extremely fast. Everything complements each other very well to give a sensation of fluidity. The only thing that may falter a bit is the storage that doesn't seem to be of high speed and the first startup of some applications can be a bit slow. But once it's opened without problems, also remember that you have 12 GB. For example, Genshin is about 7 GB, so you could have Genshin and other applications open and move between them without problems. And speaking of Genshin Impact, the game performance is simply magnificent. You can run all Android video games in high graphics and they run smoothly. For example, Genshin high graphics and 60 frames per second without problems. Carlos Duty high graphics the same high frame rate and no problems. I even put God of War on it and it also ran very smoothly. So that you have a more precise data and you can compare it with other terminals, I leave you the result of Antuta Benchmark. It was 512,159 points, a pretty good performance. The Doogee VMAX comes with the Android 12 operating system, which is very clean and free of junk apps providing a much more organized user experience without unnecessary distractions. In addition, it has a hotkey to open any application quickly and efficiently, which makes it very convenient to use the device. As for security, it has two unlocking methods, fingerprint and facial recognition. Fingerprint unlocking is very efficient and fast, allowing you to unlock your device in an instant. On the other hand, face unlock also performs well and is an additional option for those who prefer to use this technology. In summary, the Doogee VMAX offers a clean operating system and a mix of efficient and well-performing unlock options. The Doogee VMAX has advanced connectivity, including Wi-Fi 6 to support high-speed internet without problems. It also has NFC that allows you to make payments with your cell phone quickly and safely. In addition, it has support for 5G, which means that you can enjoy faster speeds on mobile networks if your city has 5G. In addition, the Doogee VMAX has an accurate GPS that allows you to navigate smoothly and find your way easily. 
It also has Bluetooth to connect with other devices and transfer data without cables. In short, the Do GV Max offers advanced connectivity for a faster and smoother internet experience. Starting with the price that will be $379.99 or $7,456 Mexican pesos from February 13th to February 17th. But as you can see, there is a coupon of up to $50. So the total will be $329.99 or $6,141 Mexican pesos, a price that I personally think it's good considering what it offers. In summary, after reviewing the features of the Duji V Max, we can conclude that it has several strengths and weaknesses. Some strengths may be its high capacity 22,000 mAh battery, which guarantees a long duration of use without the need to recharge IP68 and IP69 resistance, a quality screen, stereo sound, and good cameras. And some weaknesses can be, for example, the thickness and weight, which can be uncomfortable for some users, and also the charger of only 33W, which is very basic for the 22,000 mAh battery. Overall, the Duji V Max is a device that combines robust features with a large battery, which makes it suitable for users who are looking for a durable device with a long duration of use. However, its thickness and weight may be an obstacle for some users. In the end, you have the last word. According to what is seen in the video, you decide if it is a good option for you or not. I leave this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. Cheer up, bae.